Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. I led, I read this last time, so I hope that that's all right. But is that too loud? I certainly hope not. Journal appears to have belonged to Sergeant Bana, the Barna. The last few inches to catch your attention. A month passed since our forces left Valk. I couldn't join in, but since I'm in charge, uh, not much going on. I might start breaking down the cracked cell wall and fix it. Well, damn me, when I was about to start working, Tiadi brings in this human, scrawny human, says he's found him wandering around the sheet, found him wandering around the forest camp. Uh, he doesn't look like a poacher, though. He's not talking either. He does All he does is a mumble and groan. Plucked away a bunch of spikes stuck in his back. Got no idea who did this to him, but he seems possessed to me. His eyes are dark and his skin looks so sickly. Uh, son of a bitch, he somehow ripped his own arm off. Found him bleeding out and had to use a whole healing potion to stabilize him. I'm downing healing potions. Is that like a large healing potion? Because I'm downing those things. How much punishment am I taking? Uh, as I came close, he started spasming, mumbling some words for the first time. Something about an impending doom come to claim us. Can hardly understand what he says, giving his missing half his tongue. He doesn't seem to feel pain, so we're not sure how to interrogate him. Is that goblin lady? Orc lady? Raddies, yeah. Iron key. Cool. So I got my stuff. Good to know. That's a good one too. I really like that. I I can't express how awesome that feels. Peekaboo. Good morning. by those demon weapons I saw. I kind of want to play with those some more. <laughs> Salted meat and pints of meat. It's a wizard. No one that came from the moon, though. Not this time. I wonder if it'd be possible for me, maybe not me in particular, but for somebody to buy the rights to Hexen and or Heretic. Because you know what? We deserve another Hexen and or Heretic. I'll say it. Peekaboo. Uh, rotation 509, Dave. Uh, Dave Mendes. Reaver Mason. Reaver Tiadi is brought in human prisoner. He has no stolen goods, but I believe he's tied to the poachers that have been troubling the woods. The forests, rather, lately. Peekaboo. No goodies in the well, huh? Like what I'm seeing? Fragfire. Ah, but I don't have the frag the fragfire gun. There we go. I do really like, I think it's Duke Nukem that has the uh, the shotgun pump on the side. Or it has the little vine key. So yeah, I had kind of assumed that the, uh, 
<coughs> that that like hell hand or whatever it was in the, from the first. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. And awesome. <sighs> Room three. Mr. Magnus, door prospector guy. Paid in advance. We'll stay for one moon and or more. Not as many customers as I was hoping since the campaign started. Tavern is also quiet. Pray Hectus will return. Pray to who? We're in hell. I know he's strong, but finding demons is a task. Oh, right. We're not demons. Street of the Witch. Left two days earlier. Paid in full. Should make up for cleanup. <sighs> Axe. Dark Souls. Um, yeah, I kind of assumed that the little hell hand would have been uh, like the equivalent to the pistol, but it kind of looks like this gun is. Pardon me, sir. Or not quite pistol equivalent, but like just the general workhorse that you end up using a lot of. I also do like how the shotgun and flamethrower is high range. A lot of guys. Oh man. <laughs> this game rocks. I'll say it. X key. Vine key again. To Valk's Park, Library, and Grove. So is this like a hub level? More melee combat this time around. Mostly thanks to how solid the axes. <sighs> I do notice that I am at nine health. Cool statue of a dwarf. Like that? That's cool. It's a really cool statue. So what is that? Iron key, I believe. Of course, the laws of doom typically indicate that after picking up a key, you typically get jumped. I don't know if that's the case here. Oh, gnarly. I just want to suck the moisture off of the crystal, you know? Kinda wishing I had a quick save. I might have one and just not know what it is though. Walked into that one, huh? Oh, there's you guys up there as well. It's 
a lot of these guys. I think I'm safe here. Damn. Any goodies in here for me? There are a few. I think that's a stock door noise. But I'm hearing what I think are a lot of original noises besides, so. Just got this out. Oh, good. Okay. Parchment of the ventilation shaft, signed by Raver Tiati. Before you curse my cowardly blood, I'm doing this for our best. I saw Barna die in a split moment. This woman, she looked elven to me. I could hardly see. I barely had time to lock myself in here. A warlock spewing boats of magic for as a stream of cultists came out of thin air. I watched through the crystal globes as the whole plaza was swarmed with them. All our sisters are dead. I try to reach the lancers. This is an invasion. If I die, may these notes stand testament to my intentions. I need to find out what the hell is going on. Keep in mind, since we open one of the switches to the park gate, the cells are linked. The right switch opens the park gate, the left one the armory. The middle one opens both cells at once. Don't operate it unless someone's guarding their prisoners. If I have to chase loose any captains because of this, you're in for the whip. I guess I'll find a pickaxe. And I don't, like, have one. I do have one. Look at that. Useful. A uh, hardly legible in the lower part is rotten. If the rumors are true, the cave orcs are... something obsession of a massive tree... Treaty? Tons of magical crystals go wing all around their dungeon. We won't be able to just waltz in though. We gotta find some alternate routes. Make sure to bring some to bring back a pickaxe. Hard the green unts have some heard the green probably cunts. Heard the green cunts have some solid mason. Something involving each enchanted stone, or perhaps dwarves are hell. No. Okay, entrance. Oh, so it's a small area. I wonder how many more color pads. Doom had a like specific thing where like certain areas would have like a like a named color palette. And it would be called like base, hell, Mars, that sort of thing. This is, this is legitimately hilarious. I think, yeah, I think this is just like a meme of somebody holding a rat like that. I say a meme, but like not even an image macro, just a, a tweet that went viral. Uh, and then I think somebody was like, you're holding this like you're a first person shooter and they edited it into it. I want to say blood. And then Johnny read, uh, read it in like the guy from Blood's voice. I think Caleb is the guy's name. What? This is done. Oh. 
Whoa, hello. You're intruding on our cool fighting game, guys. I wanted to see what her deal was. That was cool. She looked radical. A lot more gun. Good. A bowl of fey dust. Oh. Okay, now that that's all done. Again, really nice pixel art on the statue. Very sexy. Same with the dwarf earlier. And the other guy. Scroll of Magma Ball. That's gotta be like a grenade, right? Mm. Scribbling tools, basic ink, and playing parchment. Magma Ball, one bowl of scribe embers, basic warm inks, plain parchment, drawing stencil, Hello? Skull of Nourish. Is this like a crafting thing? Uh... Pardon me, sir. Doing my best to hamper the sudden invasion. I'm trying to read here. Oh, that's dry. Damn. Path of the Lancer, keep balance for without <coughs> keep balance for balance is nothing without everything. Keep the secret for the poor mind will break the crystal. Break away the crystal held in a clutch of weak stone. We'll fight with truth, for true shadows flows from the inside. Hmm. Don't have a spell. Alright, do my best to hamper this. Unseen invasion from the shadows. The ventilation shafts help me move around unseen. I've overheard the cultists getting orders to blow up and cave in the exits. They're locking down the entire stronghold, bastards. Nonetheless, I have managed to get inside the crystal shop and move all the merchandise upstairs. I must delay them from getting their hands on the tech. I trashed a few power cores, but they heard the noise, so I had to break the ladder and go. There's a warding. I found a warding scroll in the shopkeeper's room. Should my sisters need to break the ward, all you need is a Dispel Magic Scroll. Couldn't find such ink by the scribing table, but the alchemist must have a recipe on her shop. Pray the demons won't break the seal anytime soon, I must push on. I have to rush to the forge and make sure they don't get their hands on her schematics. <laughs> scroll of Dispel Magic is, an, is purple ink. Basic ink and plain parchment. Scroll of Nourish. It's Fey Dust. Scroll of Magma Ball. Nourish. Oh. I have healing potions. Oh my god, I have bullet time. I had no idea. I'll leave it on those for now. Oh, I dropped my axe. I didn't know. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I got the key from here. That permitted me to go to the entrance. Which then allowed me to open this door. And then this is a magical scribing shop. Uh, 
earth magic. Back to the Lancer. <laughs> No chance of that then, huh? Okay, so let's backtrack some more then. Axe key. Oh, I picked up a vine key without realizing it. Thank god I tried, otherwise I might have been stuck here a bit longer. Scribe embers. Mana potion, destination parapet, handle with care. Up. I keep seeing this guy trolling me. I don't wonder what his deal is. Enchanted ink takes two steps. A powered cauldron. Anything less will not be able to get the magical ingredients to mix the pigment well and the ink will spoil. You need fey dust. No more than what we offer by the Earth Mother statues and the proper reagents for obtaining the color. Three of the same type, assuming they add the pigment. Mix them in the cauldron. <laughs> so do I need three purple roots then? Yeah, it says I have one. Pretty sure that there was another fine. Unless you hear something? You? Oh, I ate a leak. More than one leak. Okay. Cool. Don't know where the vine key doors were. That's kind of a problem, huh? really solid. The music is a little like I don't know about this early 90s, but again, that's probably just the vibe they're going for. Oh, Papa. Like, if I just don't happen to like the vibe of music, then like, that's not their fault. Second purple root. And another leak. Some bread and tomatoes. Just this huge, absolutely fucking yoked, de like, horned woman. I don't know if she's a demon, so I'm gonna set up for this place. Running around, like, stuffing bread and potatoes. Polenta. That dude felt warm blood hit his back, and he was like, oh, what, what happened back then? He had zero idea. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so that was one of the vine key doors. I don't... I don't know if there were more. Man, has anyone ever made like a... Interesting. Has anyone ever made like a bionicle like doom wad? Cause I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Potion of minor healing. Hello? Hedden? Oh, gross. There, rinse it off. I'm starting to notice that certain doors uh, will, like, be obviously, like, openable, and some are not. I'll still keep trying, though, just in case. Doom has, you know, 
quite a retinue of hidden secrets all over the place. I didn't happen to get three of those, by the way, did I? I think it says two. Oh, I missed those. Maybe it's just this game's color palette, but I feel like I miss weapons with relative frequency. Nothing in here, then? I like the crack in the ceiling. That's cool. Oh, it's the little rat. This is... This is the best. <laughs> oh, I don't think I checked upstairs. That was the vine key door that I shortcutted through. These are all pictures of doors. Axe. save here just in case I can't get back up. Dude. Oh no. I should have seen that coming. Boy, I hope I'm audible. I would have thought it would have been quieter underwater. Jeez. Oh, this is the... This is that one place where I was before. Or one of those little fish. Ladder physics as well. Cool. I feel like the developer of this game is the kind of guy to like ask for anyone who draws sexy fan art of his of his character to just put it in like a zip file and send it to him every week. Like Yoko Taro did, you know? And that is real. Guitar tweeted, he was like, I know that everyone makes a lot of sexy fan art of two people in my game, uh, but it's a lot of work to go looking for it. So if everyone could just put it in a zip file and send it to me every week so I can keep up with it, that'd be great. And then they did that. An action I have an intense amount of respect for, if only for the lack of cowardice required. So, do any of these, like, shortcut to a previous area? I only have two. Thought it said I needed three. But I also just picked up a pigment with earth magic, so... Maybe that's like something. 
See, I feel like I shouldn't backtrack from here. Because I went so far, I feel like it would be the, the smart thing to do would be to have a, a shortcut, you know? Oh, duh. Okay, well. Ah, and as is the law, the key card boys appear. Okay, well that makes more sense then. I just missed a key. I look for the place where I can throw this axe key, which is here. Oh, you get a lot of slowdown in the water. That I will say about the game, which is not to its benefit, is that it will sometimes just lag out. I've seen that happen a couple of times now. It's a shame because like the game's pretty solid. That was gnarly. The game's runs pretty solid, but I've just seen that happen a couple of times now. Stone key. Okay, so you can read. So this is the axe key. This takes me back to here. Nighthull's Dwarven Gear. Close to the end of the Iron Division campaign. Still open to orders. Slip your notes under the door. Ah, this is the back door of that. So should there be an X key door somewhere like this? Did the fire go out in here? Because that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is a very solid game. I don't know if I would buy it at full price, um, but I've only been playing for a bit. I could easily justify uh, buying it on sale, which I did. I got this for like really cheap because I got it on the um, I got it on a special uh, humble deal. Now that I'm actually like getting up close to them, are those guys like super short? Or alternatively, are they average height, like, you know, six foot-ish? And I'm just like a nine foot tall, you know, demon mom. I say mom for the sake of the like sexy, like, ooh mommy shit, but like, I should, I should mention that that's like something that actually annoys me and I'm doing it because of uh, ha ha, you know? But like, people always see a sexy older woman character and they're like, wow, she's a MILF, irrespective of if she has children or not. Which is actually incorrect. Because that's not how it works. MILF is very explicitly, mom, I'd like to fuck. That's what the word means, you know? And so people calling any older woman a MILF is like, oh, here we go. Kind of annoys me because that's like, just incorrect. Uh, 
Crystal requirements. This is a minor thing, but also you will occasionally see, like, people say, like, my mom's an elf, and it's like, why would you say that? Do you want to have sex with your mom? Like, sure, I know that it's not technically... Like, I know that you don't have to say that, but there's an article in there, motherfucker. It means mom I'd like to fuck. You could, you could argue that you're saying milf. All right, Faye does, three of the same type. Okay. <sighs> Like, meal for mom you'd like to fuck, but that's, that's stupid. Like, you could just say cougar. It means the same thing. I hope I didn't... Am I wasting these? Purple ink, earth pigment, scribe embers. But yeah, like... Oh, the text shifts suddenly, and the letters turn to switching, twitching shadows. Path of the Devil, Chapter 2. You will follow me. It repeats from there. Interesting. But yeah, I also don't know if Cougar is acceptable for this woman. I don't know her age. She might be immortal or something. So I definitely did something. I think I'm just missing the... Wait, did that hurt me? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I guess because I turned it on and it's boiling. Oh, it changed the purple one this time. Okay, so, yeah, I had kind of figured as much. Whoops. Hello? Okay. Huh. That's kind of weird. And we still only have two of these. definitely could have actually. It's likely just my legendary inattentive blindness. Or the LP tax as it's described. One of the most embarrassing things ever happened to me while I was describing LP tax. I was literally just talking about like what LP tax is, which is while let's playing a game you will sometimes get distracted and, and lose your train of thought and forget your topic and like I'm pretty sure I have ADHD or something. Um. Oh, I missed this. Um. Like you just forget your train of thought and lose where you're playing, you lose your place for what you're doing, because you get distracted by playing the game. And then what happens in this clip? I'm describing an attempt to blindness, and then the LP happens, and I don't get to finish what LP tax is. And somebody writes a comment, they're like, um, you didn't actually finish explaining what LP tax is. I was really curious. And I was like, God damn it. The reason I didn't explain, dear, is because I have fallen victim to an extreme irony. In here. I'm going in circles. Let's go this way. I haven't been in here in a while. Oh, they got a little god race. That's kind of neat. Good job, guys. That's cool. I think it's in the Cry of Fear LP. That's a semi-classic shooter, but like, I didn't really want to justifiably call that a, a boomer shooter. Yeah, okay, I missed it, great. It was in here with this vine door. Uh, so now I find the cauldron, wherever the hell that was. 
Just in there. Should remember that. Now I take that upstairs to somewhere. Yeah, it's probably one of the most like I don't know, I'm still embarrassed about that. The Cry of Fear LP is decent, but like it's just plagued by the fact that I am still inexperienced, and I am still inexperienced now. I'm not saying that I have experience. I have more, but Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me that one, thank you. Um Another good statue. This one's less sexy though, but I'm okay with that, I guess. I guess I can't read those. Broken ladder. That's the broken ladder she described. And a stone key, and this is probably lagging for the autosave. And another time shard. Oh, and it drops me down here. Okay. So now I have the stone key. I can definitely take that somewhere. And I definitely remember. <laughs> Herberos race. to death by a Carbaros, yep. Let's try out one of those then, huh? They're giving them to me, I may as well, right? Let's get a gun ready then. The way that the music drops out is so cool. The shotgun's range is kind of cool. I will say, I should have expected that, but the thing is that Doom actually has a really good shot. Like, a shotgun's range does not just drop off the second of you without it. Like, get outside of like five feet. Oh, we got the ones coming in. Yeah, Doom is actually one of the only games to have a relatively realistic shot. I wonder if this, this game has the problem. Or Sometimes games will count your kill percentage based on what you kill. And sometimes they will count your kill percentage on what is dead. Uh, which can lead to a problem because, like, 
sometimes enemies die to infighting and you did not kill them, but they are dead. And like, it's not like you can resurrect them and get them back. Um, and it's just a problem because like, now enemies will just sometimes die and, and you'll just miss out on that kill percentage for your completion in case you're trying to get 100% of everything on the level. stuff playing right now, I'll tell you that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah. Gnarly. Pardon me, sir. I don't know if those mean or do anything, but... <sighs> and now it's just eerily quiet. The fact that the, uh, uh... Your time stop even pauses the music is pretty sweet. Any game with time stop is just automatically cool. Time stop is a really, really good mechanic no matter what game it's in. It's good in action games, it's good in fighting games, good in shooters. Typically, you'd get like a bullet time instead. Uh, which is different from proper time stop because it's slowing things instead of just stopping them. A smoked ham. I feel like there's another stone door that I didn't unlock somewhere. Hmm. Pardon my blindness, everyone. I don't suppose the map would show me. Very classic Doom map, though. Oh, man. This game's pretty sweet. I will also say, in addition to the discourse over MILF, I can almost foresee the arguments over uh, Tomboys reigniting. Because everyone's like, no, a tomboy is a specific thing. It's not like a buff girl. I mean, God, there's a ball buddy comment about this, I think. Whoa. Not cool, guys. So some would clarify this, this woman that we're playing as, as a punch girl. <laughs> And some would use the specific term waifu. Like as in whey protein and waifu. Hyperlethal vector. Whatever works, right? Okay, so this is whack where we were. <laughs> Okay, that, that's doing something. And what it's doing, I'm not sure.
Oh, this is it. Give me this thing back. Ah, and the punch door. Perfect. There were a lot of kills in that level. This feels almost like a serious sample, you know? Okay, I think we're below the bar time. Is the part time set by the player, or is it set by the game? Because normally it is, you know, determined by like a speed run, essentially. Okay, so our time on this level is 42 minutes. The par time is 44. So I think that means we did good. And then we've been playing for that long so far. Um, last time I read the the ending scroll before the episode started. I don't think I'll do that again. Uh, <laughs> I'll start the next episode with it. Um, so, for everyone who forgot, this is Head and Blood Right. It is a really good game. I highly recommend it. Um, definitely buy on sale price. I don't know if you would buy on full price, but maybe when I play more of the game, I'll be like, yeah, get this fucking game, no matter what. Um... But yeah, I have been Alfred. I love boomer shooters and I love games like this. I love this game. It's really, really solid and I highly recommend it. Uh, but I hope you've all had a good day. I hope you had a good time watching. Thank you for coming by. I'll see you again later. Bye.